thinking of playing Braccio da Montoni. So we're looking here at uh, 15th century Italian warfare. Uh, and we're looking at, in particular, we're looking at the Battle of Sant'Egidio, uh, fought in 1416. Um, I just started a Condottiero activation sequence, uh, Baglioni in this case. And so we have 11 order points to use and two squadrons under uh, Baglioni. Okay, so individual orders. Um, uh, to issue an individual order, uh, choose the target unit, declare the type of order, subtract the relevant OP amount. Um, I already know that we're not even going to come close to using all the order points if I understand things correctly, so I'm not even going to bother showing that on video, but I will um, count down on that, uh, that order track to the, printed to the side of the map. All right, and I'll mention it. Okay, so we have the first um, squadron, Cheru, Cherubino, here. Um, he has three cavalry, um, one heavy, two medium cavalry units. Um, so they're individual order, so I'll just start with the one. Well, yeah, I'll start the one on the left here. Um, so I'm choosing the target unit now. Uh, what type of orders can I give? All right, there are seven types of orders you can give in BDM. Um, and most of them cost one orders point. So we have move and attack, cost one. Fire, cost one. Reorganization, uh, says only as a general order. Okay, so you're not going to give that as an individual order. Withdraw, one order point. Um, Caritza, charge, one order point. Echelon, two order points. And recovery only as a general order. Okay, so first of all, I wonder, I mean, I chose the first unit here. I want to charge. So I think I want to charge. I think I want to try to charge. Um, so where is it? There it is. So I grab the little marker there with Caritza. Um... Okay, so only an undisrupted cavalry unit. It is it is undisrupted because that is is its undisrupted side or the front. Its disrupted side is the back side with the dark band going uh, vertically on the right hand side there. So the back side is disrupted. It is clearly not disrupted. It's undisrupted. Um, may receive this order. Um, the unit receiving this order must move at least one hex. Well, he wants to come down this um, higher ground and charge this first. Um, charge that first crossbowman. Um, uh, and then place a Karitsa marker on it. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about terrain. This is interesting. So here's the terrain effects chart. Um, it says clear, level 1, 2, 3. So levels 1, 2, and 3 are clear. And it looks like they're only distinguished by color. And clearly, the left color is just a pale off-white. That's clearly this down here. That kind of um, ochre color there in the center is clearly this one. This one here. So I'm thinking that the, the darker ochre there must be what they're on here, what they're on here. Um, so hill are definitely the darker, although I don't, I don't think I like this, uh, way of doing it, but hills, and then you have hills level one, two, and three. This is, hmm, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but I guess on this map, one, two, three, I mean, I guess only this up here is hill. Eh, anyways. Not sure about that, but my, my point is that if it's a hill, I guess they can't charge. So I need to determine, that's why I'm trying to determine, I think that the, I think, though I'm not sure, the level they're on, this color, is still clear and not hill, which, in which case they can charge. That's why I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to figure that out. 
All right, and there's something else about charging. Okay, actually, uh, there is a separate uh, cavil. There is a separate chapter on cavalry alone, and that does include a section on charging. So actually, it it explicitly answers my question. I was wondering if, for example, if the unit started up here on what I think is a hill, um, does that mean they can't even start their charge from there? But no, it actually specifies. When you're considering prohibited terrain, you're going to consider the terrain of the defender and the terrain of the last hex the cavalry is in. So I'm assuming that this cavalry can charge one, two, three, four. Um, and so this is acceptable terrain and that's acceptable terrain. So the, the charge is legal. Now, let me see what else is in, involved in moving here and charging. Okay, so I'm actually getting a lot of my questions answered in the rules, <laughs> even if the language is still a little um, odd. All these um, little decorative trees, they actually have no effect on gameplay. And there are even some little, I think, buildings. Um, yeah, I see some. There are even little decorative buildings, outbuildings, etc. No effect on gameplay. And, um, yeah, and also the rules specify... Uh, Santa Guidio, this battle has only one hill level. So that is the hill level. So this is clear, clear, and clear. And I'm not saying they're identical. I think there are some rules to that, but I don't think it's... Well, hmm. Um, well, I don't think... Anyways, so charge. Um... Mounted, all mounted units have a movement allowance of five, not printed on the uh, the unit counters, right? So one, so I am in charge. I think I can charge. So one, two, three, four. So, and then I mark it with the charge counter. Now, the immediate question is, um, well, actually, well, no. I think the infantry now has to uh, do a morale check. So infantry units, that is an infantry unit, that is considered an infantry unit, it has a white, it has a white um, uh, CR there, four in this case. Um, so infantry units that are the target of a Tsukaritsa must roll a die, a die, okay. Um, must roll a die. All right, so they rolled a three. Um, before any reaction fire attempt. So there is reaction fire, that's what I was wondering. Do the crossbowmen get to fire at the charging cavalry? Okay. Um, if they have an armor class lower... Oh, let me see the details here. Well, that's an interesting little stipulation. Actually, they did not need to roll. Um, you don't, they only have to roll if the cavalry have a higher, um, higher armor class than they do. Actually, they're the same. The charging cavalry is medium, um, and the infantry is medium. Um, so I do think that they get to, um, do reaction fire now. Um, while I'm in the rule section, um, foot units attacked by a cavalry unit with, with a higher or equal armor class, double the, um, the, the CH, the hits, um, received. So right away I know that because the cavalry have equal to or higher armor than the infantry they're charging, they're going to cause basically twice the damage. Okay, I'm running into rules section references that don't exist, or references to rule sections that don't exist. Um, all right, I need to, to check azimuth here again, or get back on azimuth. Um, I'm not sure when That morale check, if that infantry had to do a morale check, I'm not sh exactly sure when they do that, but okay, that's why I'm going to try to get back on azimuth here. So we're back to the condottiero um, action sequence. So we're issuing individual orders. We issued our first one, which by the way, I just dropped the uh, track down one, uh, dropped the order point marker down one on the track. Um, so let's go through all the steps. I guess they're steps. I'm not sure if they're steps, at, at least they're 
points, I guess, for the individual orders here. Any unit with an order implying movement, like charge, uh, may move up to its movement allowance, receiving exit reaction fire if applicable. We obviously don't have exit reaction fire. Any unit not in an enemy ZOC may change its facing. All right, we're not doing that here. Every unit with an attack or tsa, uh, tsaritsa, karitsa marker must designate an enemy unit to attack. Okay, so designating the attack there, the you know, target. Um, um, some combat units that are targets of a karitsa must check morale now. I am even though the rules reference isn't very good, I think that's when you we would do it, if if it had to. But it doesn't have to because the because the armor values are the same. Um, missile units may fire entry reaction fire. So is this entry reaction fire? I guess it is. And then cavalry units that are the target of a karitsa may counter charge. All right, uh, we don't have a counter charge here. And we probably won't for the time being. But let's see if this is entry reaction fire. Maybe we can actually get some fire. All right, I'm going to execute this reaction fire, but there's a, a mild, uh, I guess you would call it at least a mild contradiction in the rules. So under reaction fire, it says um, that uh, uh, charged missile units, so like our crossbowmen here, must check morale before reaction fire, then it has a reference to a rule section that doesn't exist, but still under the, when it talks about infantry units that are the target of a charge um, before reaction fire, they only check if their armor is less than the, than the cavalry, so I'm going with that. Um, so. So we're going to do the reaction fire here. Now I find this odd again that there's no modifier for the fact that they're being charged, but maybe that's just something that I would have in, in my design. But um, I don't see anything here. So here's the fire table. Um, they're crossbowmen at range one. The armor, the cavalry that they're firing at have a, have a medium armor class, so it's 11. So they need to roll 11 or greater to disrupt the charging cavalry. And down here, firing unit disrupted, target fired through flank, target fired through rear, target at a lower elevation, the combat rating of the firing unit, so that's the four that we looked at earlier, four on the crossbowman unit there. Um, so it's plus four, and then terrain, there's no terrain because we're same level and everything, but um, so it's just plus four, which is, again, I don't know why there wouldn't be something, ooh, they rolled very low. They're old a four plus four for their CR is eight, which is not 11 or greater. Um, so they did not succeed in disrupting the charging cavalry. Um, but this is what I mean. If they're doing reaction fire against charging cavalry, I don't see any modifier at all. And I find that a little odd. Um, uh, isn't that funny? Well. Um, I think I'm supposed to put a fire, I think, but I'm not positive I'm supposed to put a fired marker on them. Is there a fired mark? Yeah, there is a fired marker. Yep, there's a fired marker. So I'll put a fired marker on on those guys, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure it matters. See, if the next cavalry charges down there... Oh, okay. I guess they would not get to um, do reaction fire against that next cavalry, cavalry unit coming down the, uh, the rise there. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have the, these other guys charge down here, and I'll see if we have any better success with that, uh, with that uh, crossbow unit there. Okay, so the next cavalry unit charge down there, they're heavy cavalry. So I think that the that the missile target unit there, the infantry target unit, has to do a morale check. They rolled a six, which is not good. That is more than the than the uh, more than the CR um, of the unit there. And so I think that it's disrupted right away. 
Now if it's now if it's disrupted, does it get to do reaction fire? I imagine not. Okay, actually, I take that back because on the fire table there is a line for firing unit disrupted minus two. So I guess disrupted units can fire. So I'm going to take their CR rating of four, subtract two for firing unit disrupted. So the net is a plus two. They're firing at uh, heavy armor class um, cavalry there. So they need a 14 or more. That means they need to roll 12 plus two for 14. Oh wow, <laughs> close, but uh, no. So 10 plus two is 12, not 14 or greater to get a hit. And so they fired. And then I guess the last two, three, four comes down. And I guess that that unit does not get, um, does not get a reaction fire. Um, there's already, you know, a unit with a fire marker on it cannot fire. 